Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what we have in store for you today. In today's story the man says, I found out my wife had an affair, developed it over 6 months and lied and gaslit me all summer about it. I knew our marriage was likely over, now trying to figure out how to tread the coming waters and looking for any insights as to why. This is a complete story, so stay with us until the end. To me, it was quite shocking to learn all of this. We've been dating for 14 years, married for 10, and we have two kids, ages 4 and 6. I would never have imagined learning that she was cheating on me or having an affair. It started about a year ago. We became friends with a couple who had similar aged children as us, lived close and we all got along really well. We started hanging out, watching each other's kids, going out as a group quite a bit. Over the coming months, my wife and the husband, as they are the primary caregivers to the children while I and the other wife work more hours, started to become closer. They clearly had similar personalities and could just talk and get along. I didn't see a lot of this since it all happened when I was away and they were doing mutual kid stuff together. I wasn't too worried about it though. I trusted my wife. I never had any reason to doubt her. She always had guy friends throughout our whole relationship. Through the early spring, there were ups and downs for us. She was becoming aware she was somewhat depressed and started going to counselling. She started working out and eventually losing weight. Shortly after starting counselling, she asked me to go to couples counselling. I thought things were fine and I kind of said, I think we are okay, let's see how it goes and left it at that. She never brought up couples counselling again and she kept acting like things were good with us. We still had an active bedroom. Our intimacy throughout our marriage has never been a sore spot but probably not as active as one would like. We never went for more than a month without S and rarely more than a week but I always knew she wanted S more than me. I had insight into this and found myself asking myself, why am I not that active in the bedroom? Will this ever get better? In and around this time, I found two play toys she bought without telling me. She was clearly hiding them, but they went off overnight one night. She woke up too that night and the next day we talked and my point was just to say, why didn't you just talk to me about it? Turns out I was probably depressed too with work and stuff. We moved 5 years ago to her hometown where she had some friends but not close friends anymore and I had no friends. I have a good job, I'm a physician and make good money. But we also spend a lot of money so I was constantly worried about money too and that's on me. Throughout her counselling and working out, the four of us started hanging out more. Felt great. Oh we finally have friends. I was happy about it. We started having S more often and everything felt pretty well. We went on a family trip in July and during the trip my wife told me the other wife discovered her and his text thread on his phone and it greatly upset her. She told me it was a large quantity but nothing inappropriate. There was one time she said I love you like a joke but it's all just friendly. She kind of offered to show me the text but in a you don't want to see these texts do you kind of way. I had no reason to not trust her at this point and was like, nah, it's cool, you have guy friends, no big deal. When we got back, I started getting anxious. I started to feel insecure. I noticed the toy pouch was moving around. The two of them were spending more time together with the kids on summer vacation and I was working all the time to make up for the trip. As I got more anxious, the text kept coming up and she said, you can't look at the text, that's an invasion of my privacy. She bought him a present a week before my birthday, one she had to put together with iron-on patches and that arrived when I was home and she gave it to him the next day while I was at work. But then I saw it the day after. My point again, why didn't you just tell me about it? I felt like I was going crazy. Why was I so insecure? Why can't I trust her? Why am I constantly checking to find your friends and the nest cams in the house now? I was a mess. She reassured me they were just friends, nothing was going on. But my PHQ-9 was at the upper limit of moderate. I wasn't sleeping or eating. I have been going to the therapist every week since August. 
Before my next guide trip in July, I talked to his wife about the texts. I started to learn more of the details. There was not just one I love you, but many. Good night, good morning, almost every day, pet names, etc. I was pretty crushed. A week earlier, my wife made out with me in her sleep and said, I love you and mentioned that pet name and then fell back asleep. I was confused. I asked her and she said I was and mentioned that pet name again. But after I learned the truth, I clearly wasn't. I talked to my wife about these details the next day. She said she was so depressed, so sad and so upset with how I had been treating her the last few years and she almost left me and he talked her out of it. I told him that I'm okay with them communicating but the I love you's and pet names need to stop. They agreed, apologized and he said he was going to back off too. Alright, before we move on to the next half of the story, a kind reminder for you to please hit that like button if you are enjoying the story so far, so that this story will be seen by many more people like you around the planet. A few weeks ago, we are all hanging out and I arrive first and she doesn't really give me a hug or anything. Then they arrive and I just know she is going to hug him ASAP. And she does. And I lose my mind. Bad on me. I overreacted for sure. I knew I was doing it and just tried to separate myself to cool off. But she came and was like, what's wrong? And we had a fight about it. I knew I was in the wrong, but she still came to get it out of me. The next day, the other couple decided amongst themselves the best thing for their family was to set a boundary that the male and female from our two families no longer communicate privately. I didn't like this because I was starting to be good friends with the female, but I agreed. My wife said it was BS, but she would respect their wishes. A couple more weeks and we are on a family trip, just us. I oversee that she has been texting him privately. It's really every time she goes to the bathroom or I go that she's on the phone. Eventually, I call her out and I was really furious. So much for boundaries, I say. Was not a good day to have this fight, but it happened and I meant what I said. I was assured they were no longer communicating privately. Three weeks later, I got a call. She needs to tell me something. The other wife looked at the phone logs and the two of them, no longer texting, have now been talking for hours a day. 40 minutes at 4 a.m. on his way to work, one and a half hours in the night, 20 to 40 minutes during lunch, every day, always when I'm at work. I leave for overnight at 9, a one and a half hour call. If I'm home at night, no call, but call at 4 a.m., literally every day. I was crushed, betrayed. We started going to couples therapy finally. She assured me and the therapist that they had no more communication. It was over and she was working to rebuild trust so we as families could be friends again and the kids could have their friends back. Well, a month goes by and one morning on the nest cam, I saw my wife taking a workout selfie but with a S kind of pose. Later that night, I am able to get on her computer and find her photo stream and find they have been texting. There were a ton of inspirational quotes about finding your second love, not being able to be with the one you love due to outside circumstances and being with someone who loves you for who you are and not what they want you to be. This is crushing to me. I am devastated. I feel so betrayed. She told the counselor they weren't talking. I told the other wife. They had been using a secret messaging app since before our trip with the big fight. But there was nothing physical, I was assured. How will this time be different? I asked over the next few days. I can't hurt you again. I can't keep lying to you. I found out that she had told him she wanted to run away with him in 5 years when the kids are older or 20 years if she had to. I'm told it was just an escape, a fantasy, but nothing physical. Two days later, he spills the beans to his wife. They have been kissing since August, since before my hug overreaction. They had physical relations numerous times, at least two or three. It all made sense now. She would go run errands. During nights, she knew the wife would be at work and either I would be home or she would hire a sitter and she would go over there. The first night she went over, I had a bad feeling because she turned find your friends off and hired a sitter before I got home from work. I asked her the next day and she said, no, I went to my friend's house. See, here's the picture I took with her. 
but this was definitely the first night she went to his house to sleep with him. She made sure to take a picture as an alibi. My wife still hasn't told me about this. We went to couples therapy and she explained the pictures and made a point that nothing physical happened and then I came out with what I knew. I couldn't hold it anymore. We cried. I was devastated and she was ashamed. However, the next day she went to his work to try and talk to him to get closure and tell him sorry. He sped away and she followed for a bit, then turned around and called me. How do I know she didn't go to see if there was something left with him and he wasn't just ignoring her because of what his wife made him do? She is crushed by what she did too and can't think of anything else. We had a long talk about what this means and I think we both know this is heading for divorce. I am not ever going to get past this. I don't think. I won't be able to trust her again. I can't. Everything I found out, I found out because of someone else or I discovered it. She told me nothing that someone else hadn't already discovered through this whole process. I still like her as the mother to my children, we can be friends, even good friends and she and I both want to be amicable about it. We have discussed who might get what in the split etc, places she could live. She admitted that she lost her physical attraction to me over the summer and doesn't know if it will ever come back. I now accept it probably isn't. She is cordial with me and states she isn't ready to rush into divorce, gives me hugs when she leaves, says I love you, small kisses, but I am now ready. I have been in hell for 6 months and she is just starting, but I can't keep going on like this. I'm trying to make it through the holidays for the kids, but then I really want to move forward. She has changed all her computer and iPhone iPad passwords. The therapist asked if she would share her passwords and she was like, no, it's my privacy. And the therapist was like, uh, are you kidding me? If you want any chance for this to work, you need to be 100% transparent. But she still isn't. I don't want to have to ask for everything. At this point though, I don't even want to know. The legal stuff, I can work it out. I've talked to a lawyer, but the timing is tough. I will tell her tomorrow that I want to start the process of in-home separation. On a side note, I'm trying to change my conversational tone. She is still making plans for the future. How many more weeks of your bowling league? Just doing the calendar? Oh, I have this thing in February if you're okay watching the kids, etc. It's really hard, like nothing happened. She had a work ski trip planned that she usually goes to and the other day we talked and I was like maybe you shouldn't go and she said that's fine, whatever I need. I also mentioned maybe it would be better if she moved to the guest room and she said that would be fine too. Finances are tough. I want to start putting money away but I don't want to elevate things and get her to be non-amicable. I think if I can put together a reasonable offer from my lawyer and bring her in amicably, she will agree to whatever. I'm just trying not to blow things up a week before Christmas. Her parents know, she told them, but I haven't talked to them privately. There's no alimony in my state so yay for that. The custody is going to be the tough part though. My state is very classical and is no fault so what she did doesn't really matter but she doesn't want to take the kids from me at this point so that's good. In conclusion, I must say that divorce is 100% happening. We can both agree on that. We can still be a family and do family things together without being a couple, dinners with kids, holidays etc. We are going to drift far apart for a while during and after the divorce then work on coming back together. She has a lot of work to do to rebuild any trust. I don't want to ruin our parental relationship forever. And that's the end of the story. Well OP, first off, stop the couple's counselling. This isn't a couple's issue, this is a wife's issue. You did nothing to force your wife to cheat, right? It was a conscious decision she made over and over again. You need to realise that she is broken and will need individual counselling to fix herself. Do keep your cool though and don't do things that make you look bad. You've got this. Be strong. And guys, thank you so much for listening. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next story. Take care.